Let's talk about the neuroscience of habits. More specifically, how to get positive habits to stick, as this is a core aspect to real resilience. What does the research show us? First, having a long-term goal. Examples can be losing weight, eating healthier, or just wanting to be happier and calmer. The reality check is that this just doesn't happen with one workout or breathing exercise or eating one salad. Nope, it's a daily practice. It is having that goal and it is also being realistic. Write down that goal and then work on it daily with realistic practices that are moving you towards that bigger goal. The brain likes achieving those daily goals. Achieving them shows you are making progress and that's right, the brain likes that too. So it's not going directly from point A to B. In reality, it's lots of smaller victories moving towards the big one. Now, habits. Here's an example of how to get good habits to stick. It's not just doing something that will make it stick. Here's the wrong way. On your way to the gym, you're thinking the whole time about how you are dreading it. Then you get there and wish right away that it would be over. You also negatively compare yourself to everyone else. You eventually finish and think about how awful it was doing it. You want to talk about rewiring the brain? Congrats, you just made it that much harder to ever go again because you just connected the gym with all the negative thoughts. So here's what the science tells us. First, we need to activate the prefrontal cortex of the brain. We need to tell ourselves we are enjoying something, so eventually it becomes a routine in the striatum part of the brain. Okay, enough neuro talk. This is what it means. It is all about the before, during and after. Let's continue to use the gym as an example to help us lose weight and be healthier. On the way to the gym, you tell yourself you are choosing to go to the gym. You are making the choice and you are doing it to feel better and lose weight. The brain likes thinking it is in charge and by you telling yourself this, it is also connecting it to your goal. Then while at the gym, tell yourself you are enjoying it. Tell yourself again and do it again. You need to do this throughout the entire workout. It doesn't make it easier, but it makes it enjoyable and that helps it stick. The brain likes enjoyment and that can release dopamine. The brain likes it when dopamine is released and wants more of it. The best part is you're the one doing it. You are in control. And here's the kicker. When you are done, stop for a moment. Pause and savour the results. Say to yourself, you did this. You accomplished this today and it's working towards losing weight and feeling better. Once again, the brain likes this too. It likes being reminded it can achieve something and it wants to keep doing it. One quick common sense note. With all this self-talk you are doing, do it inside your head, not out loud. Also, mix it up. Don't do the same workout or eat a ham sandwich every day. That's boring and it won't stick. You're human too and no one is perfect. Have a bit of self-compassion and don't be too hard on yourself. You're allowed to have bumps in the road and days off. Pick yourself back up. That's real resilience after all. This is the neuroscience of establishing habits that stick. Try it out with other things too. We all have resilience in us. Let's work on enhancing it. You got this.